Hi everybody, this is Debbie from Stamp On It, and this is a jammy video. Most of you know, jammy video is a video that is relatively short, informative, goes through a product, a technique, things like that. And the cool part is you can do them sitting in your jammies. I can be in my jammies, you don't know. You can be in yours, and I don't know. So, let's get started. This video today is a video that a customer or several customers of ours has requested that we just do a short informative video on putting together or working with one of our glitter film and vintage hues kits. So what I'm going to do is just go through it very quickly, um, straightforward. Creativity can be added at your own will. But I'm going to just show you how to kind of basically work with our kits. And this is the glitter film and vintage hues. We have different kits and you'll be able to see those in upcoming videos as well. This is a 12 card kit. That means you can make 12 projects for sure out of this kit. You will have leftover stickers perhaps, leftover glitter film perhaps, but you'll be able to complete 12 uh, projects of varying design. They might not all be able to be the exact same design, but you will be able to complete those 12. So in the kit, there is 12 card stocks, cards, with a coordinating envelope. Scored, meaning that there is a score line for easy folding. So you don't have to worry about it folding crooked, things like that. It will fold very easily and the envelope will always match the same tone or shade of color. All right, also in the kit are 12 overlays. An overlay is a frame and the frames will be either cream, white, or black and they will coordinate with whatever um, the stickers are in here as well as often the acetate. Some of our kits online now you are able to choose the color of your cardstock and your overlays so watch for that when ordering. Some you cannot but some you can. Um, the stickers will always coordinate with whether you pick cream or white cardstock uh, so that you don't have to worry about but watch for that as well when you're ordering. Also in the kit is your acetate vintage hue prints. They will come on a full sheet like this. All right, and there will be 12 individual prints. So there's either two sheets if there are six prints on each sheet, or there is three sheets if there's four prints on a sheet. All right, and then of course, you also have your coordinating stickers to make different cards and step-by-step -step instructions. Instructions are in on the back side of this cover sheet here. All right, so let's set this aside. And I've gone ahead and just taken one sheet, and I'm going to work with the Baby Bird Ovals. This is one of our newer kits. So what you would want to do, first of all, is take either a trimmer. I like to work with a trimmer, but you can certainly work with a scissors. They cut very easily with a scissors or a trimmer. I'm kind of uh, picky about straight lines. So I will use a trimmer. This is a Fiskars trimmer, very easily gotten at any craft store. Um, and you don't need a Fiskars, you can have any brand. We don't currently carry them on our website just because um, they're so easily gotten at craft stores around the nation, so. All right, so begin by trimming down your piece. And the first thing I usually suggest to people is, is just quarter your, your eight and a half by 11 sheet. Put, cut it into quarters. So now I have a sheet that is relatively a quarter sheet, all right? So now I'm going to take, and I'm just going to trim it down because I'm going to put it behind this frame, all right? So I can see that I just barely need to clear the oval print for this frame. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it down. Just makes it a little easier to work with. You can also trim it after you add your glitter film but I usually trim it beforehand. Lost me. All right, so there we have it trimmed down. All right, oops, upside down. Okay, now in your kit is also your two or three, depending on, again, how many sheets of acetate are in there, two or three sheets of glitter film. Now glitter film is a adhesive backed sheet of glitter, so it is opaque white when it comes out of your kit. Um, some people choose to use it that way, and you can. You can adhere this to here using liquid crystal lacquer. Um, 
and do it that way. But what we usually teach with the vintage shoes and with our acetates is you can peel the uh, adhesive coating off and stick it right to the back side of your vintage hue, which makes it a little bit easier to, to work with in general. So we're going to also cut this down and I'm just going to bring it down to about approximately the size that I'm working with of my vintage hue. Okay, so I'm going to take this, boy this trimmer's got a issue with the trimming part coming out all the time. <laughs> Probably wasn't the best trimmer to grab for this. I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter too. So I'm not working with any excess glitter film. So the two are about the same size in general. Okay, and I also you can trim this down after you adhere the glitter film to the back of the vintage hue if you want to. All right, so now. The, the easiest way to remove the coating on the back side of the glitter film, and this sometimes is the hardest thing in, in the whole project, is to what we call worry or rub towards the glitter side with your thumb or your finger, your skin, and worry towards that. And what happens is that little edge of cut glitter film adhesive will catch on your skin and reveal the adhesive so you can then just start to peel it back. Now, usually we suggest you do not peel it all the way off <laughs> because then you have a sheet of adhesive and you know what happens from there. So we usually say go back about an inch and a half or so and take your vintage hue, find the back side, it will be the dull side. When I look at this, and I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there is a smooth glossy side and there is a dull where the print is laying and I can easily see that. So I'm going to take, and, I, and I'm left-handed, so please Bear with me as you switch to right-handedness. It's always been a problem growing up. Not for me, for everybody else, sorry. Just kind of line up, and it doesn't have to be exact because we're using a frame to cover the um, piece when we're done. So it doesn't have to be exact, but line it up roughly with the edges of your vintage hue, okay? Press down. Now I'm gonna pull out the carrier as I'm just pulling across the surface. And now I can take and just press this. If you get air bubbles, press them out. If you are not able to press them out successfully, a very, very easy way to take care of them is just poke them with a pin, poke a little hole, air hole in there, and you can easily press them out, okay? So now we have this layer. Let me put it on the card so you can see it better. Mounted onto our glitter film, okay? So now if I was going to continue, and this is kind of what I'm going to be ending up with, I would take and put down some adhesive around the overlay frame, and I'm just gonna put down a piece on each side. Our adhesive tape is really, really easy to work with. It can be cut, but it can be very easily torn. So I usually take it right from the roll, put it right onto my layer, burnish it down, and then if you have fingernails, you can just scratch the corner and peel up the coating. If you need a little tool, uh, my daughter, she likes to use like the little pick that we carry. Uh, uh, X-Acto knife blade edge is good too. Whatever works for you. As they say, different strokes for different folks. Peel off that coating. Now I'm gonna lay this in front of me on my work surface and I'm gonna take my frame and I'm going to frame or lay it over top of the area that I wish to have framed. Now let me put this back on the carrier so you can see it a little better, okay? So now we have our piece framed. Now you can go ahead and once again, turn it over. I'm working on the back side. If when you mount this or frame your, your image, if the glitter film vintage hue goes out beyond the frame, just trim it off with a scissors. Just take a scissors and, or just trim it off. It's not a big deal. The wonderful part about using frames is that you can cover up a lot of boo-boos. A lot of little issues that you got going can be hidden with that frame. If you're not going to frame or use the overlays, you can trim with your trimmer around your design and layer it down, 
Put your adhesive where there is um, dark print, perhaps, or if you're going to use stickers around the edge to embellish corners, you can always put your adhesive behind that too. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to center it on the front of my cardstock. Oops. And if that happens before you press it down, our adhesive is forgiving. Try not to let it stick to your fingers. Next time I do this, I'm going to show you a trick that one of our um, employees, Sharon, Sharon Freeze, taught me, and I didn't do it this time because I totally forgot. But um, it's a great way how to layer pieces down, and then you pull the adhesive strips out, the coating out afterward, and it just it's kind of a easy way to make sure that your piece is centered before you take the adhesive and expose it. So now I would be ready to add my embellishments. So you would take your stickers that are included in your kit, and I'm just using three here that are already partially used, and I'm just going to grab my little pokey tool here, and this is one of our sticker sheets called small corners and you can see it's already been lovingly used we colored some of the stickers and I usually like to put my stickers onto my tool and then onto my layer and adhere them down so you would go around and add your corners add your words of choice okay um, add some there's usually each kit also has borders of some sort in it there's usually a, a uh, assortment of stickers in your kits. On your word sheets often there will be added embellishments that you can use if you wish to on your project. When you are completed it will look like that possibly. It's one my daughter Talia created. Just very simple but very beautiful. Some of them she really gets into a lot more detail and adds the borders and everything too which is fun to work with too. So that is our glitter film Vintage Hues 12 card kit. This is just one of them. There's a lot of them on our website to check out. Just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea how to work with them. If you have any questions, you can always email us right off from our website at uh, info at stamponit.net. And thanks for listening. Have a wonderful day.